are a dynamic duo. They work with Oprah to create O, the Oprah magazine. Uh, she's also one of the co-hosts of CBS This Morning and editor-at-large. And he is the creative director. Please welcome back to our show, Gail King, and a first-timer to our show, which is so weird. It's a first-timer. Adam Glassman. Come on in. Super excited. Adam is a Rachel Ray Virgin. Oh. <laughs> but today's the day. The, the food in the green room is unbelievable. Isn't it fun? I'm, I know. I'm just coming for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm working with so, power boots. You have them in bed. I know. I, I, have have them I almost work with them. But wait, can I just say something about the food in the Rachel Ray green room? <laughs> <laughs> CBS this morning, when you come, you get a bagel and a croissant. <laughs> And maybe some fruit. You come to Rachel Ray's. Tell them, Adam, what they what they just brought in. They, well, what did we have? It was Chinese like, New yeah, Year. Chinese New Year. General Sal's um, chicken. It was great. It's amazing. Well, I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what. I love John Dickerson, and I miss yes. him on Face the Nation. He's on you? your gig now. Yes. So if you invite your good friend Rachel Ray <laughs> to come by your show, I will bring, I will bring food. Yes. All right, but today we're going to talk about O Magazine. Mm -hmm. but, you know, we thought it would be kind of fun. We were chit-chatting about what to do with the segment. I said, why don't we do like a storytellers, like on VH1, MTV. You guys remember when people come out yeah. and they do like the behind the scenes of their music? Well, let's do some behind the scenes of some of your covers. Okay. okay. And you guys can both because, chime in or just okay. one take a lead or not. I mean, well, first, how many it. covers, Adam, has it been? Oh, Two? I think we're up to like... 219. Two? Two if you ask yeah. Oprah, she will tell you the exact number. She knows exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I have lost count. We're the same cover girl. Yes. We're the mm. same cover girl. That is a great shot. Well, this, yeah. this is the first time in the only time we did a black and white cover. First you and know, only time. I have been so pushing elegant. for I black and white black for and white. years, but Gail loves everything in color. I do. I yes. love color. But this was our 15th anniversary issue, so we really thought and you needed to be. For your anniversary. You and John have been married more than 15 years, right? We've been together more than 15 years. We've right. been legal for uh, 13. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rachel, on your 15th anniversary, that's uh, Crystal. Right. So he should be getting you something Crystal. So that's why we have all those for us with Crystal. I will yeah. tell him. Yes. I will tell him. Um, did Oprah like posing for that? She did. Does she, does she enjoy getting the glam on? <laughs> tell, tell the truth. I notice how we're both like, uh, this question. is what I'll say. She has been saying, let's find someone else for the cover for at least 10 years. <laughs> we've, we've been, we've been, the magazine has been 18 years because it was never her intention to be the cover to girl. To be the cover person. Yes. Right. For the whole time. Right. But the thing is, whenever Oprah's on any other magazine, it outsells. Can you think of anybody else who's better on the cover than Oprah? But no. she always says to us, I can, we can't either. But she always says, I don't have another smile. I don't have another clap. I don't have another pose. I mean, you know, you do a magazine. Yeah, it it's makes a lot me of work. so uncomfortable you the understand. second I get because I don't like posing. Like it feels so fake to me. Yeah. I, like we have an unscripted show. We try and let people see it's the messes and the successes. Yeah. It's very hard if you're an authentic person, like yes. Oprah. You can't yes. get more yes. O than O. That is like, true. It's weird to pose and put on a smile when you're just being told to smile. Yes. I know. And we were it just feels saying, disingenuous. Yes. We were literally. We just talking yeah. about this yesterday with Oprah. Which we just like, had a coverage. We need life. We need authenticity. It really needs to feel real. Right. So and just, I, I mean, I wish I could just walk through photo shoot and they just shoot stuff while we're walking around, yeah, chatting with oh, each other. You know what I mean? That, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had a shot That's of her right. in a hammock once and she goes, this is a life I wish I was living. You know, we're <laughs> in a hammock reading a book in the sunshine. We, we brought this one, Rachel, because she, this is a cover she hates. Oh, yeah. She so, hates this cover? She hates this cover. She, Why? What does she call it, Adam? The Martha Washington cover. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Martha Washington cover. Oh, yeah. At the time, we all thought it was lovely. It yes. was the first time, actually, she ever wore her hair, hair up, up for the yeah. cover. And afterwards, she's like, I look like Martha Washington. <laughs> <laughs> and what? we will never live it down. Oh, it's no. at least 10 years old, and we still... And I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. See, we, I think she, lo we she looks like she too. got out of a Calgon bath or something. No, yeah. but she says, I would never wear that frilly blouse. I would never That's really be my hair about it, too. It's like... Yeah. I, I don't. I don't look like that. I don't dress That's like what that. She said right. too. Yeah. That's right. Oprah can be a, a big. I told you so.
so personal. Oh, I love that. That's one of now, my favorites. Oh, this one's amazing. Now, That's one of really, my all-time favorites. Is it? Yeah, ours too, because women love to talk about their hair. Whether you're black, white, yellow, purple, green. Everybody got hair issues. So this and we always great. want the hair we don't have. That, that's so true. It's so true. You always want someone else's do. Right? So Adam had this made. By the way, guys, Adam does all the covers. He's the creative director behind all the covers. This one, you had this wig done. We had this done by Kim Kimball, who yeah. does amazing wigs. I want one of those, uh, right? Three and a half pounds. Three and a half pounds. Yes. It's like wearing oh. a chihuahua on your head. Yeah. The weight of a chihuahua. Yeah. And she actually loved this, though. It was amazing. It's it was amazing. amazing. Yeah. Did you try that on, too? We all tried we it. Yes. We all tried it. I knew it. I knew it. We all tried it. We all tried it. How could you not? Yes, we all did. I don't even want to know thing. the person that wouldn't try that out. Yeah. No, right? no, we all did. Do you we each have did. a favorite? I do. I have out of one. over 200 and something? Mm -hmm. I have one. It's maybe that one. That one. Oh, yeah. This that one. looks this so one. real. This, this one is so is good. You guys like got this. 13 years because, old, yeah. Yeah, but it's the last shot of the day, guys. And the photographer said, you had to convince her because she said, I ain't taking no more pictures. And Adam said, just do one. He just wants to try natural light. So it's natural light. And Adam just come over said, here. Like, just really, lean up against the window. Just lean yeah. there. That's it. You're on the like dress. The I love you it. Know. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. And last yeah. year's Christmas was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, big yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. Crazy. That was in Alaska. I know. Yes. That was That's a, That was a goodie, though. Yeah. Adam, I was stuck on a glacier Adam for three days. On a glacier Literally, for three days. I went for three hours, I thought. <laughs> yeah. The snow came in. We got stuck. Three we couldn't get off. Yes. It was like Gilligan's Island. I asked you to come in the whole thing during our Christmas. Yeah. All right, so I love this one, too, because you get two for one here. Yeah. First of all, I read um, A Wrinkle in Time, I don't know, maybe it was in fourth grade. It was the first book I remember staying up all night long with a flashlight under the blanket because oh, wow. I couldn't put it down. I loved it so much. I cannot believe that all these years later, I'm 49 years old, I can finally watch it so as good. a film. Well, I'm so excited. Well, not only that, Rachel. Oh. And it's the double cover, guys. Yeah. A double cover. Yeah, you have A Wrinkle in Time on the back. And then you got the ladies yeah. on the front. Mrs. What? So that's Reese, Mrs. What, Mrs. Who, Oprah's Mrs. Witch. W-H-I-C-H. Uh, but I'm so glad to hear you like it so much because we're working on a New York screening. Don't you think you should invite Rachel oh, for I that? Think Rachel. Yeah, I would be there. Really yeah, really yeah, really. yeah. I've been waiting for this for 40 years. <laughs> so don't act like you don't know us when that invitation comes. I will right. be there. I will be there, my friends. Now, this is also a very special um, edition because it's about Dress for Success. Yes. Right. Can, yes. can you guys explain what this issue is and what's behind it? It's a partnership that we have with Dress for Success and Talbots. I'm also wearing a Talbots outfit. May I stand? Yeah, of course. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. May I stand? We design, we design five pieces of clothing. So Adam works with yes. them and, and comes up with pieces. Five so, pieces. So it's a collaboration pieces, yeah. with Oprah Magazine, Just for Success in Talbots. And this is all Talbots from head to toe. Beautiful. And so we've it's helped beautiful. over yeah. 60,000 people. Over 60,000 people. Last year we raised over a million, million dollars. dollars. Yeah. The proceeds go directly to Just for Success. We have an entire rack, as you know, as we always do. Yeah. We have a huge overstuffed rack in the back here for you guys for Dress for Success. Oh, thank you. Think Something about the women that are because everybody has stuff in their closet that they think is really great, but for whatever reason, you're just tired of it. Exactly. Because you've read it so many, you've, you've worn it so many times, but it's still really good stuff. And so we say that they want, what's that phrase, gently used, gently... Gently used, gently, gently used. worn clothes. Yeah. Which well, means most that it's still in clothes good are. That's yeah. right. None That's of right. us... Oh, you're please. not hanging out in them. Exactly. Yeah. You go home, and you it, take it not off. only do you take the blazer off, bra goes second. And <laughs> it's like... For success once you hit, yeah. once you hit your home, home Bravo turf, right? Second. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo second. Um, we have uh, very good news for everybody here, too. You can um, get yourselves into Talbot's yes. because uh, everybody here is going to get a $100 gift card to Talbot's. <laughs> to ask you because you are the closest person probably on the planet to Oprah everybody was buzzing after the Golden Globes would she run for president I think she would be a cabinet member I don't know about a president what do you, what do you think first of all that was the most riveting speech I've ever seen <laughs> it, it was good. Good. it was it was I agree and she I agree smoking hot 
She looked Again, amazing. Adam worked on getting that dress for her. I think it's stunning. I, I think she looked as good as I've ever seen her look. Just elegant. And she was feeling herself. Beautiful. But listen, she had been working on that speech. She had rehearsed it. So I knew Rachel was going to be a good speech just when she was reading it for time. Oh, it was amazing. But when she got up in front of that crowd, it was a very different... She looked different. She sounded differently. And I think she took it to another level. But she didn't do that speech thinking, I'm thinking about running for president or I'm hoping to run for president. But it just resonated so with people because everybody's Because they were for... so moved, yes. right? Yep. And they, they had that electric her. feeling. Yep. They believe yep. her. Yep. She's all about healing and unification, and you could and feel and authenticity. that. authenticity. And so she wanted to do a speech that would meet the moment of the Me Too movement. And she wanted to... Her whole thing was, I don't want to disappoint. I don't want to let anybody down. And she certainly did that. She absolutely didn't let anybody but, down. Got them on to rise for her, and I love that. When Gary Oldman said, I'm going to cry. I'm literally, I'm getting flushed, too. and I'm almost going to cry again. I thought but it was do, so beautiful when do you I think she, first. Do I think she'd be a great president? I absolutely do, but I think if you're running for president, nobody should have to convince you to do it. It should be something No, it has to be feel. organic. And so only she can make that decision. But I, I thought, you know what? I could see her going for that cabinet post, so I could see I her. If she was going to do it, she would go for the she'd whole thing. She'd go for the whole thing. She's not trying to be no cabinet <laughs> Chair. No, if she did something, it would be that. And then White House parties will be fun. <laughs> on stands now and CBS this morning of course airs weekdays look for Rachel Ray to stop by there yes. and bring lots of food sometime yes. soon yes. <laughs> say hello to my friend John 